One of San Diego's oldest Starbucks locations is set to close, and tonight we are learning why. Good evening and thanks so much for joining us. I'm Marcella Lee. The Starbucks in Hillcrest, located on Fifth Avenue in Robinson, has been open for nearly three decades, but it is now set to close at the end of the month. CBS 8's Rocio de la Fe explains what's driving the closure and how the community is reacting. News of the store closing soon has hit faithful customers hard. The store opened back in 1994 and is believed to be one of San Diego's oldest locations. I was coming to the Starbucks since my daughter was let out. It's, gonna, it's very sad. Bianca Porrino has lived in San Diego for over 20 years and says she visits the Starbucks location in Hillcrest regularly. The Starbucks over here is phenomenal. They're, I mean, this is my stop. Every time I stop by or go to other places, this is where I go. Soon, she and others will have to find another Starbucks location for their coffee breaks. The spokesperson for the company said the location will close at the end of June. And when I heard the news that they were closing down, I'm like, no, this is not possible. This is not happening. It's great location. Executive director of the Hillcrest Business Association, Ben Nichols, says a big reason for the store's closure is a homelessness crisis. This is a real tragedy because uh, that Starbucks has been there for a long time, probably one of the oldest Starbucks in the city. And the tragedy is that they're not closing because they're not making money. They're closing because of the street environment around them. A source within the company we spoke to told us decisions to modify store operations can be made at the local level by company leaders. But store closures are decided by the corporate team. While they won't say directly that the local homeless population is to blame, the safety and well-being of customers and employees are their number one priority. Nicole says the employees at this location have to deal with the homeless constantly entering the store. People literally just taking food from the table of a, of a patron and walking away or stealing retail items. It's a real nightmare. And when you, you know, at the end, before they close, if you go in that Starbucks right now, no retail items available because they would have gotten stolen. No prepared food for sale in the little cooler that they have because it would have gotten stolen. Chairs are gone. Everything is sort of, it's like, it's like they're on lockdown. Supervisor Jim Desmond says the closure is a direct result of deteriorating conditions caused by the ongoing homelessness crisis and the failure of current policies to address root causes. In a statement, Desmond says taxpayers deserve accountability for the exorbitant amount of money being spent and they're rightfully tired of witnessing the problem persist and worsen. Nichols says he hopes the ban on encampments the city council passed yesterday will do more to lift the burden off businesses. Council member Stephen Whitburn, who authored the ordinance, tells me passing my unsafe camping ordinance was a significant and necessary first step in making our sidewalks and neighborhoods safer. The store is set to close on June 29th. Rocia de la Fe, CBS 8.